Hi, welcome to the course titled Testing Spring Boot Application with JUnit and Mockito. Well, in this course, you will learn how to do unit testing as well as integration testing for your Spring Boot application. And we are going to use a latest version of JUnit framework and Mockito framework for unit testing Spring Boot application. Well, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Ramesh and I'm working as a tech lead in some IT company. I have around 10 years of experience in IT industry. I am a founder and author of one of the well-known Java blog website that is Java Guides. It has around 1 million views per month. And I am also a YouTuber at Java Guides. It has around 52k subscribers as of now. And I have published around 200 plus free projects on GitHub for learning purposes. Well, if you are looking for free projects for learning purposes, then I highly suggest you guys to check out my GitHub profile. You will find a lot of free projects, examples, tutorials on my GitHub profile. Well, this is my quick introduction. Well, what you are going to learn in this course, you will learn how to unit test Spring Boot application as well as you will learn how to do integration testing for your Spring Boot application. Well, look at here, this is basically a three layer architecture that we use in our Spring Boot application. And in this course, you will learn how to do unit testing all these three different layers. Okay, you will learn how to do unit testing repository layer components, service layer components, as well as controller layer components. And later you will learn how to do integration testing for your Spring Boot application. In integration testing, you will learn how to test an integration of these different layers. And in this course, we are going to follow BDD format, that is behavior driven development. We'll basically divide our unit test into three parts, given, when, and then. So this format is awesome. We basically write a JUnit test case in a human readable format. All right, we'll see in the course how we can use a BDD style to write the unit test case as well as integration test case. Well, we begin with unit testing repository layer components. While unit testing repository layer components, we will learn a lot of stuff like we will see how to unit test crude you know, methods, we will see how to unit test native queries, we will see how to unit test JPQL queries, we will see how to unit test you know, custom queries. All right, we will learn a lot of stuff while testing a repository layer component. And we are going to use add data JP test annotation to test repository layer components because this annotation internally automatically configured in memory database for testing purpose. All right, we don't have to use Marketo while unit testing repository layer components. We're gonna use in memory database to store and retrieve the data. Well, once we complete unit testing repository layer components, then we'll move to unit testing service layer components. Well, look at here, service layer is depends on repository layer. So we have to mock a repository layer component in a service layer. In order to mock a repository layer component in a service layer, we're going to use Mockito framework. Well, Mockito is a well-known Java library for mocking the objects. Well, while unit testing service layer component, you will learn how to use Mockito framework and how to use a Mockito framework to mock the objects and how to use Mockito provided annotations to mock the objects and how to stop the method calls. All right, you will learn a lot of stuff while unit testing service layer component. And once we'll complete the unit testing of service layer components, then we'll head over to unit testing controller layer components. While unit testing controller layer components, you will learn a lot of stuff. Like you will learn how to unit test REST APIs. For example, get REST API, post, put, delete. All right, and you're gonna use Mockito framework while unit testing controller layer component because controller layer is depends on service layer. All right. In order to unit test controller layer component, we have to mock service layer component. All right. We'll learn a lot of stuff. And again, we're going to use at WebMVC test annotation to unit test controller layer components. And later you will learn how to do integration testing for your Spring Boot application. In integration testing, you will learn how to test integration of these different layers let's take a look into what is a prerequisites for this course of course you should know java 
JUnit Framework Basics. Even though I will explain you how to write JUnit test cases, but it is good to know JUnit Basics. And you should know basics of Mockito Framework. Even though I will explain you how to use Mockito and Mockito Fundamentals, but it is good to have a Mockito Basics for this course. And you should be familiar with how to use IntelliJ IDEA. Let's take a look into what are the technologies, tools and databases that we are going to use in this course. We will use Java 11 Plus, Spring Boot, Spring MUSC, Spring Data JPA, JUnit for your framework, Mockito, Hamcrust, JSON Path, Assert J. Alright, so we are going to use all these technologies and framework for unit testing and integration testing of our Spring Boot application. And I want to use IntelliJ IDEA for building Spring Boot application and JUnit test cases. And we're going to use Marvin as a dependency management as well as build management tool. And we're going to use S2 in memory database for unit testing repository layer components. And we're going to use MySQL database for integration testing. Alright, so these are the tools, technologies and databases that we're going to use in this course. Well, I am very excited to teach you how to write unit test and integration tests for Spring Boot application. Alright, without further ado, let's get started.